Hello everybody, and today I am here to explain why I haven't really been uploading any videos, or mostly just Battlefront 2 videos, when there's been all these really interesting mods that have been released over the two years since I've made my last Battlefront 2 modding video. Well, in the very beginning, it was because of a circumstance outside my control, which would mean I fractured my hip, I was in the hospital for a couple days, had a big surgery, and you know, had to go through the whole physical therapy thing, and, you know, I, I'm back to pretty much where I'm at, but I've been kind of, I guess you could say, unmotivated to make any new Battlefront 2 videos, and it's, you know, with COVID was still going on and all that, so I didn't really have any motivation, and then, you know, things started getting back to normal, and I did start making other videos, as you saw, of like Clone Wars Adventures, but I've also been recently doing a project on mod DB with the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't play the new Battlefront mainly because <laughs> this computer doesn't have the space for it. But anyways, uh, one of my side projects that I'm currently working on, I'm gonna pull it up right here. I'm sure most of you have probably seen it for those that are on mod DB or following a re-archiving project that I've been doing. But the Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, map archive here, as you see, it was last updated yesterday, May 30th, 2024, when this video was uploaded, who knows, it, maybe it'll be uploaded today, maybe it'll be tomorrow, all depending. So, I, I've been trying to keep up to date with adding in all the new and old Battlefront 2 mods that I come across, whether it be via ModDB over here, with the files, with the add-ons, or just standalone mods. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So, as you can see, there are about 12 different sections here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 13 different sections. I'm probably going to get rid of this change log out of the point. But anyways, as you see, I have uh, been still working on this, trying to keep links updated, and there are quite a few areas around the internet where you can go to get Battlefront 2 mods, and not only on ModDB, but to me, ModDB is the best place to get them, mainly because... They stay archived on here for a very long time, and they don't get deleted by some random person from ModDB. Unless, of course, the uploader t takes it down themselves. All you have to do is go all the way back to... Uh, what's the add-ons it said? Back to page 19 here, and you can see these were uploaded in April of 2006, and they're still here. So this is the best place, in my opinion, to be actually doing this re-archiving project that I'm doing. And if you want to search it up, just type in Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods via Google, then go on ModDB, go under Mods, and you will see Mike's Battlefront 2 mods and maps collection. And you will see, of course, what I've been posting about, what I've been uploading, and all that. So really, under the files, I'll show you what I did very, very long time ago, back in 2018. In November 2018, I uploaded a bunch of mod collections of mine, but I don't think I did any real thinking about it until now, saying, oh, some people probably don't have any actual, you know, space for their files on their computer, so I decided to start releasing them individually, and I've been trying not to upload duplicates. That might change in the future, where I just might upload all the mods under this project, but of course I would have to ask permission from the original's authors. And, you know, some of them are probably not going to be around, some are going to still be around, but I'll have to ask around. So, as you can see here, we are right back at page 1. We were originally on page, like, 14 or 15, and I've been doing about 5 file uploads a day because I think that's a good pace. And, you know, here on the weekend, sometimes I do 10 to 15, depending on if I have anything to do. If I don't, then you'll see 10 to 15. And I try my best to keep on top of this and try doing it daily. And as you see, 63 gigs of mods. That's a lot of mods. And I've been trying to go through all the original places where Battlefront 2 mods have been uploaded. And... The first place is on Game Toast, you know, this is where most of the map mods were released for a good 15, 16 years when the game, or actually longer than that, 17, 18 years since the game has been released. And now, it's not really used anymore, there's a Game Toast Discord where I also got some links, which are dead, and I've been trying to keep the map archive up here updated. But other than that, 
I mostly use a Game Toast here, and there's a few others. I'm going to pull those up right now. Hold on a second. All right, so the first place is Gamefront, and yes, there is still a Gamefront.com. A lot of mods have been deleted over the years, which sucks because there were some really good ones back in like 2009, 2008, 2007 that are no longer around the internet anywheres that I can't find anyways. But if you, hey, if you find ones from 2007, 2008 on the map archive, like, let's go scroll randomly and find one. Oh, uh, let's just say the shutdown by finger food. If you somehow find it, let me know, upload it somewhere, and I'll upload it to ModDB. That's what the archiving project's all about. But what I did was I went through all of these websites, Gamefront being the first one, and as you can see, people are still uploading here. There's one from three years ago, and then there was one that was from two months ago. People are still uploading here, which is always very good. And there are 49 pages you can go through, and now, are every single one of these on the updated Star Wars Battlefront 2 map archive? No, pretty much side mods. I haven't really put a lot of them in. I put some in, but I probably should add those in as well. And now the next one I go to is a Padawan Helcon. He uploaded quite a few mods to Mediafire and his Google Drive. So some of them you'll see are the same, but this really helped uh, save a few mods that were actually missing. And let's just say you wanted to, I don't know, let's just go IJKL and you wanted to download this Camino training map. You know, you click it and then you just hit the download button. But you know, we're not going to have to do that. So that was the next place I got quite a few links from and a great place you should go for Battlefront 2 mods to download. And then there's Star Wars Battlefront 2 maps here with the, of course, Palwin Helcon's Google Drive link. I'm not sure how long these are going to last, but if they last, that would be great. And if you want to get more direct links, I'll leave them in the description, or you can go to the Help Me Find the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Map or Mod Archive, and there will be many other links you can go to. And there's also, of course, Lone Bullet Game Watcher, pretty much just links you to ModDB, so that's why I didn't bother doing that. And for some reason, when I pull up Lone Bullet, it's, <laughs> it says for some reason that there's a dangerous web page. So, I don't suggest going there. So... Other than that, that's where I get most of these links from, and th there are some other websites that I've also gotten Battlefront 2 mods from. I'm actually going to show you those as well. Hold on a second. Alright, so here's two other ones that I actually ended up finding. Game Banana, which has only a couple, and mostly by Mr. MDP Toaster, I believe his name was. And Game Pressure, which actually helped me find, I think, two or three mods that I thought were gone forever. This is where I found the Core of the Galaxy map pack by uh, NB20,026, I think his name was. So I uploaded that to my ModDB page. Hopefully that stays there. And I don't think that any of these are good for long-term re-archiving, so that's why I'm using ModDB at the current moment. And I requested some mods that have been missing for quite a few years now. I asked Red Hardcore to see if he had any of them, and if he does, he can upload them to ModDB as well, or he can upload them elsewhere, where I will re-archive them on my ModDB page, which you see there are 435 files so far, quite a big number, and oh, okay, didn't even know, 67 downloads say, hey, that's great, and I've been trying my best to ask permission to, for a few of these to be uploaded, now, for example, maybe I should have asked, uh, who was it? Uh, the Legend and BK2 Mario, if I could upload them to my DBB for re-archiving purposes, but I'm sure they don't mind as long as I give them the proper credit and the people in the readme, which I always do. Alright, so now I'm going to get back to the map archive itself, just to show you what I have been trying to kind of spread out there for other people to find out. Uh, I'd rather this be sent around to all your friends with the link that there is an open document where everybody can view it. I made sure there's a shareable link. So let's just say you want to find, I don't know, this Exogorth map. Let's say you've been looking for this and you want to just download it. Very easy. Just click the Mediafire link and go right ahead and download it right there. Or maybe you want to find a mod but one of these links are broken. Like one that's marked good but it's bad. There's actually one here that's a prime example of that. Uh, there's an Utapau map here by Xavius that I have to update here. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. No, not that one. It was Utapau Sinkhole Lake, also known as Utapau Descent. 
So let's say you you say, oh, good link. Oh, well, the link's no longer good. Oh, well, just move over to the next column where I have secondary links for a majority of these Battlefront 2 mods. Now, yes, a lot of them you're going to see don't have secondary links, but if I'm going through my re-archiving project and I notice they're not on ModDB, then a lot of these primary links will become secondaries and my ModDB link will become the primary one. So as you saw with Utapau, Sickle Lake, okay, so that link didn't lurk, work. Now will this one work if I go to it? Yes it does. And as you see there's both the files right here, the no water one and the regular one. So you can just open it up, download it, and leave it at that. And there's also not just the conquest, there's also campaign modes which with a bunch of links. There's also the space maps, and now I'm sure I'm missing quite a few from like campaign, space map, RPG, and then there's a few other ones here, like KOTOR. There's definitely mods that I have not added into the KOTOR era here, but I haven't done it mainly because I want to keep more so everything in Conquest. That's like an individual map, but it would make sense to add more, so I guess you can a ask me which ones to add to this, what, what's it called, this tab. And you know, same thing goes for like racing maps. As you see, there's re there's red for broken links, green for good ones. Hey, if you find any of these, let me know. I'm more than happy to re-archive and share them around again. But, you know, just let me know. This Rainbow Road 64 one's actually kind of funny. And then, you know, there's Hero Assault ones, which have a lot of clan maps. Some of the clan maps are pretty bad, but have new units, kind of like this uh, Igor Pavlov individual. Uh, there's also some ones that are just first-time maps, like... the. Uh, this awesome dueling map, or there's some really good ones like AF base, which have like custom units and some custom assets, which are always good. And then you know these source Battlefront one conversions. A majority of these you can just get in a conversion pack in the Marvel Four's Battlefront one conversion pack, or in the map pack section where you can download some of them. Uh, let's see, in the map pack section, there are some broken links too. You'll see that. But there were some re-archiving ones that I found, like Game Jedi's map pack that I added to ModDB, and a few other ones. Uh, let's see another example here. Uh, Night Stalker's map pack number two here. This one used to be lost to the face of the earth, but then I found it on Star Wars Battlefront Customs Battlefront 2 modding page. I thought that was an interesting find, and you'll see multiple links. Like, this is for the full map pack, and there's part one, two, and three. Those are most of just backup links in case the other ones break. So if one breaks, always try the other before asking if I have it. Because I likely don't because I stopped collecting mods six years ago. And then of course this era sides mod one, which is for sides mods and for era mods or for some big map conversions. And this is probably something I'm going to end up redoing this tab. It's been this way since the original. Uh, Google Docs. I'm actually going to show you that right now, too. Alright, so here's the very old version that was created by Alex Sakura and Padawan Hokan, along with a few other people, which helped with the actual creation of this. As you see, the last update was 2015. I've been updating this for about, I want to say, six, seven years now, maybe even eight. I, I haven't started since 2015. I think I started in like 2017 when I had a lot more free time in college. As you can see, you'll see links that no longer work. For example, uh, this Enor City, I would have, or Antar 4. These don't have any working links anymore. For example, see like Megafile doesn't work anymore. Database area doesn't work. I try my best to keep up to date with this new one, but things are going to slip through the cracks. Like for example, this, you have a 19 demo in version 1.1. They're no longer on ModDB, but I'm asking Red Hardcore if he has any any uh, saved ones on his hard drive. If he does, I'll re-upload them and upload the links. But in the meantime, I'm just leaving the old ones so that way it's a reminder for myself. So I think that's about right, all I have to really say. Oh, and once I am done with this side project and maybe even this this re-archiving project, then I'll probably be uploading a lot more consistently with Battlefront 2 mods. And I do actually have the... Battlefront Remastered installed and all that, so you'll see a lot better uh, quality gameplays on there. So thank you all for watching this video, and if you have any dead links here and you end up finding maps that are actually still out there, feel free to link me to them, and uh, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.